Holbeck. I started and helped run Golden Coast Mead here in Oceanside, California, where we take honey and turn it into alcohol called mead. We endeavor to produce something beautiful that is straightforward and approachable, but as you come back to it, it gives you more and more and more. We specialize in sours, which are tart and refreshing, and allows us to focus on the honey, and it allows us to create a drinking experience that is both versatile and straightforward. We have our sour hard honey seltzer, and then we've got our dry hard honey seltzer and our sweet hard honey seltzer. Uh, we think the sour is really unique, uh, tart, refreshing, delicious. The honey flavor profile comes through, but then it's complemented by the tartness and then the carbonation and the 5% ABV makes it imminently drinkable. Honey is like the core of our meads. Um, it came to us a while ago that our job is to take a honey and bring out the best characteristics of it in the mead. And that's an art and a science because every yeast and the fermentation process interacts with hun different honeys differently. And we're just at the beginning of the mead industry where we're figuring these things out. Which kind of honey with which kind of yeast and fermentation process equals what kind of mead. So when we get to work with these incredible honeys that have all these flavors, there's a little bit of a learning curve to figure out which production process is going to bring out the best characteristics of these honeys and work best with what we're trying to accomplish in terms of our style. Working with some of the honeys that Bee Seasonal provides gives us this opportunity to do things that we couldn't do anywhere else or any other way and I think allows us to make means that are dynamic and lively, but approachable and really enjoyable as well. We wanted organic honey. We wanted flavors that we could work with and see coming through really beautifully and agreeably. And we wanted to be able to scale. We wanted to be able to get a lot of this honey and have it consistent. We worked with Bee Seasonal to source um, a supply of honey that could be unique to our style. And then we found that working with it, it's been really fun to see that the fermentation profiles change the end product, but the core source honey is recognizable through the whole range of products that we offer. One of the reasons we're really passionate about honey and mead is because the impact of that honey has on the earth is arguably positive. More bees equals more life, right? They, they don't tear up nature in order to produce a sugar that we can then ferment or as humans we can consume. It instead is the symbiotic relationship between flower and plant that produces nectar to entice the bees to spread their pollen and help the plants reproduce. Uh, and humans have been living in symbiosis with that for a long time. Honey to us is the most regenerative sugar system because you don't need monoculture to produce it. You don't need to tear up nature and plant only one thing and then drive machines over it to harvest that one thing and spray chemicals to fertilize it and then kill the things that compete for that food. Like with honey, you need more flowering plants, you need more biodiverse ecosystems, you need more bees on top of those biodiverse ecosystems gathering that nectar and bringing it home. So that's what we want to support and that's what we want to share with our customers in making this mead and in working with Be Seasonal on sourcing honey from ecosystems where the process of producing this honey is good for that ecosystem and for the people that live there so that that ecosystem doesn't get torn down and turned into something else. We would love for our mead to be a starting point for our customers to experience and explore a world that is simple and beautiful and joyful and available to everybody. You're drinking sunshine. You know, the bees are collecting nectar, which is sunshine converted into sugar by plants. Uh, they're consolidating it into honey. The beekeepers are collecting that honey and then we're fermenting that. So there's a direct line from the mead you're drinking to sunlight via 
plants, animals, humans, and microbes. So it's this like combination of all of the living world that brought you this drinking experience. And that's pretty cool. It says liquid sunshine.